this is fully bronzer and it's looking really terrible sorry i'm not blaming milk but it's although now i've blended it a bit oh that's fun Welcome back to Beauty Lab where we test the latest skincare, hair care and makeup. Subscribe for more videos like this. Today we're testing the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Translucent Setting Powder. I'm using the shade Medium, it comes in four shades. Uh, it's a matte powder which is not usually my thing but I am looking forward to trying this one. It's talc free. I love setting powder because I have extremely oily skin um, and I really like to kind of set my um, liquid products in place so whether that be concealer or foundation I always 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 go in with a setting powder so I like to think of myself as a bit of a setting powder connoisseur so this it says it's a translucent loose setting powder made with lentil extract bakuchiol to control shine set makeup and blur pores Okay, so, it's spinning for a while. First impressions, the color still looks relatively light for medium, but obviously it is translucent. Okay, I'm gonna go in just over with my fresh concealer, just very lightly, because I am not a big heavy makeup wearer. It said matte, but it usually I feel like matte makes my skin just look a bit dull, but this really hasn't. So I have concealer all over my face now. It's um, kind of a satiny finish, but I want to mattify it more. So I'm gonna first go in under my eyes because they crease so much. I have um, those types of under eyes that just crease no matter what. So, ooh, that, that's, that is quite mattifying actually. I'm just going to apply it how I'd normally apply it, which is just underneath my eyes, around my nose and on my forehead. So I'll do this side first and then see how it goes. I mean, it's definitely blurred my under eyes, but I actually see, I think that's made me look a little bit grey. So maybe I'll try the very deep. I'm also going to, as it is called pore eclipse, I'm going to put a little bit over my pores just to kind of see what effect that has. I actually don't have much makeup beyond a tinted SPF on my base. I would definitely say that my pores were instantly a bit less visible. And while my skin isn't as glowy, dewy, it doesn't look flat. Like it's still got a bit of radiance to it. That is quite impressive. I might not need to try the um, medium shade. The light shade is quite good for me, although it's kind of concerning because I am quite tanned at the moment and there are people probably seeking to use the light shade who are maybe have a more paler skin tone than me. So I've used the deep shade and then now we're gonna use the very deep to see how they compare. So I'm gonna use the very deep on the peripheries and then stick to the deep underneath my eyes. But even that, that is so dark it's, and very red as well. Which luckily I do have red undertones, but this is fully bronzer and it's looking really terrible. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not blaming milk, but it's... Although, I, now I've blended it a bit. But it's not a bronzer, it's a prow it's powder. I am starting to see a very slight... I feel like under my eye looks very slightly pa more papery. But... I think that's the nature of if you want concealer to stay on you're not going to be able to have it be like the glowiest dewiest thing in the world for someone that doesn't like setting powder i'm much more of a setting spray kind of girl and i reapply six times a day kind of girl um i actually quite like this okay so milk say that this is a weightless translucent powder that can blur pores and mattify your complexion and 
I would actually agree with that. I would say it's weightless. I don't feel cakey at all. I can't really feel the product on my face. I do think it sort of has blurred my pores. Um, it has mattified my face, definitely. There's no denying that. Um, whether it can control shine for 24 hours is another story, but on first impressions, I really like it. The colour payoff in a translucent powder is pretty decent because I have not been able to budge where I try to bronze with the very deep shade. The problem that I found is that deep and very deep are miles apart in regards to hues and that means that people will fall in between and won't be able to find their right shade because deep barely worked for me underneath the eye like it still looks a little bit grey and then very deep for me is way too deep and very bronzy and quite reddish in undertone so that's like a very specific skin colour if they work for you the formula is really lovely and will work to like blur and set and hold your makeup all day but if the colours don't work for you I don't know if it's the best pick and maybe you need to spend 30 quid on something else Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.